What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dermy Wormy. I'm coming at you with another video and when it comes to Ubisoft, things have just continuously gone downhill for them. It wasn't too long ago that we got reports that their stock prices were dropping drastically, hitting lows that haven't been seen in decades on decades. And you were hearing rumors and murmurs from actual investors at the company saying, hey, we might as well just start taking this company private because you're wasting our money. On top of all this, we got to allege that Ubisoft spent upwards of 650 50 to 850 million dollars on their first ever quadruple a game skull and bones a game that just came out and immediately bombed and is already on some shelves at stores for roughly around 25 dollars because nobody's playing the game we then had rumors going around that Star Wars Outlaws only sold a million copies considering this game had such a massive budget primarily on the marketing side because they decided to ship out a bunch of streamers and influencers over to Disney to try to bundle them up and promote the game. Uh, we're now hearing that they only sold a million copies when that was well lower than what they actually needed to sell to break even which was roughly around 5 million copies and all we're seeing is failure after failure so much so that they even decided hey you know what's a good idea we're gonna have to actually delay assassin's creed shadows because it's filled with just bad pr um everybody's making fun of it and star wars outlaws failed and this is gonna be another failure so we need to push it out so we could fix the bugs and try to you know maybe not have it reflect bad on this year and we'll just push it off to next year to look bad on there well, following all this abysmal news, following everything that's been going on, we had this come out. Ubisoft founders reportedly considering buyout after lacking game sales, IGN Daily Fix. Uh, what we're finding out is that individuals from both Tencent and the Gelmont family have been coming together and are starting to discuss just selling off Ubisoft and working on a buyout because... They don't know what to do. They can't get out of this funk. They're losing money. And with this news, we also had it announced that there might be a 40% cut in staff because uh, th they don't know what to do. They don't know how to get out of this. But following all this news, following the abysmal failures that's been going on here, we had this come out. Stevi Chasered. Stevi Chasered is an actual marketing manager over at Ubisoft. And I know this comes from a uh, critical drinker here, but Stevi had this to say to all of us wonderful gamers out there. I rarely post on social media, but today I am sad, ashamed, and sad. The gaming industry is rough at the moment. We all know it, but seeing how gamers react on social medias, wishing ill fate to companies and people alike is sad and not only towards Ubisoft. Even though it is always the vocal minority that expresses themselves on social media, I was hurt, hurt and ashamed to be part of this community. What is even more revolting is coming on LinkedIn and seeing the same comments from people within the industry on top of exposing yourself as a clearly non-decent human being. You are affecting thousands of employees that are already impacted by all the hate despite doing their best to deliver incredible experiences. How can you wish a company to fail simply because they do not cater to you or that the product does not please you is beyond me. We are all in the same boat. Please, please, please stop spreading hate. We should all uplift each other instead of bringing each other down. Well, here's the thing, Stevi. You done this to yourself. Everything that's happening to Ubisoft in particular has been done because of your own faults and your own actions. When it comes to let's go Star Wars Outlaws, Star Wars Outlaws was put out there for $70 up to $130. And if you started buying the $130 version, actually $110 version to be more precise, you got three day early access to the game. The people that played the early access on PlayStation, for example, were met with a game breaking bug roughly five hours to six hours into the game and Ubisoft came out and said that you, the only fix was to download the latest patch and then restart your entire game, putting you back at square zero. 
all that time and effort that was already put into the game itself is now gone. You have to redo it because of your failures on the programming side. Oh, but why don't we actually take this into a, a bit of a better situation? The gaming industry is rough at the moment. We all know it. But seeing how gamers react on social medias, wishing ill fate to companies and people alike is sad. Okay, yeah. Sometimes it does suck to see that. Guess what? Put out a good product. But here's the thing. Even though it's always the vocal minority that expresses themselves on social media, I was hurt. Why are you caring what the vocal minority is saying? Why are you caring what the minority of people are saying? If the game's good and the majority of people actually think the game's good, then why do you give a crap what this small group of people say? Oh, it's because the small group of people isn't the actual thing, okay? It's actually the majority of people recognize these games are crap, recognize what you're doing is bad, and you don't like the fact that people keep calling you out on your bull crap, keep pointing out that you're putting out bad games, your marketing's bad, and all you guys keep doing is attacking gamers, and you're coming out here like, why, why are you talking ill about us? This is all your fault. Everything that's happened to Ubisoft is your fault. The marketing for Assassin's Creed Shadows. Why the hell are you doing a story on Yasuke, who was the tokenized person in real life, was just dragged around as an oddity because he was black? Why are you doing a story about him and, and not a story about an actual Japanese samurai or an actual Japanese ninja? Why focus in on him? Oh, because my diversity. We go over to Star Wars Outlaws. Why are you doing a story on K Vest? Who the hell's K Vest? What, what? Nobody even recognizes this character. Oh, and then when the game comes out, oh, she's just the bestest ever. So much so that Job of the Hut will come and save her at the very end and say, I love you and you're just the bestest ever. Y you see the problems here? You're not catering to gamers. You're catering to your own ideology and your own belief structure. And when you get called out for it, you're going to say, you're just a minority, but it hurts to see what the minority is saying. But take it again. This is a minority. Then why the hell in your own comments, you say that people in the gaming industry are saying the same things about your company. Maybe just maybe it's your company. Maybe it's the people at Ubisoft. Maybe it's the developers at Ubisoft, the marketing the managers at Ubisoft. Maybe it's the people at Ubisoft that have done this to themselves. Other gaming industries are recognizing it's you. You guys have done poorly. It's plain and simple. And you guys, instead of actually catering to gamers, instead of actually acknowledging what gamers are saying, instead of actually, you know, admitting that you screwed up, you just keep attacking gamers. This is all on your own doing. Maybe actually try to put out a good game that isn't filled with bugs, has a decent story, and people will like it and buy it. But you can't do that. You're incapable of doing that because every time you try to do it, you chip out a buttload of money and then it just flops because it's buggy, it's a poor story, it's subpar product, but you keep coming out here like, well, why don't we just give you a uh, charge you guys $70? That's gonna fix it. No, it starts and ends at the company itself. Your company is infiltrated by just horrible individuals, whether they're progressive individuals that just want to push their politics and talk about their politics all day and night, people that aren't actually good at their job, whether it's coding, development, so on and so forth, you're just filled with this stuff to the point that your company's way too bloated, you can't get anything done, to the point that your budgets are insane. Welcome to the modern era where just riding on the coattails of Assassin's Creed or Star Wars isn't going to save your company anymore. You actually have to put effort into something and you're physically incapable of doing it because you have such large overhead and people that just don't actually care about games that you're falling apart. This is all done by your own hands. If it was just a vocal minority, then why would you care so much about it? If it was just a vocal minority, why are people in the gaming industry talking about it? Why is this all happening? Oh, it's because it's a majority of the people and everybody recognizes the truth. Yes, the gaming industry right now is filled with layoffs and things like that going on. It's been a very bad couple of years for the gaming industry. But again, this was all done by you guys because you guys decided to lay down in front of a particular ideology, prostate yourself in to this ideology, say that you're all bad, we're all bad because of our skin color, our sexuality, so on and so forth, and we're just gonna push this ideology all throughout our companies because that's how we're gonna make things better, right? Wrong. You decided to let this stuff in here seep throughout your company and make it to the point that you're physically incapable 
of doing a good game. Welcome to the modern era where you actually have to put effort in to make sure things are good. But I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Let me get your guys' thoughts all of this down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up, share it out, friends, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video go live, guys. And I'll see you all on the next one. Bye for now.